How's our kids? Check it out, bruh. Hi guys, it's your favorite art teacher at House Art Kids. Today we're going to be making a very simple rainbow. Not just any rainbow, we're going to do a desert rainbow and it's going to be very, very simple. But the key here is to know your facts about watercolor. So first we're going to need 9 by 12 watercolor paper. We're going to need some filtered water. You must use filtered water or distilled water because Regular tap water is going to make your painting look very scratchy and not really clean. And I'm going to use my watercolors. Um, I have this palette here and I'm going to be using these um, palette spaces to do my colors. You also need a paper towel because you want to get a good consistency. So if you are right-handed, you want to keep all of your water, paint brushes and brushes, everything on your right-hand side so you don't have to reach over and drop on your paper or if you're left-handed you're gonna put everything on your left hand side so you can go straight to the paper okay so first of all like I said we're gonna do a desert color uh, it's gonna be a monochrome theme I don't know if you guys know about um, Kanye West's Yeezy fashion trend that he did like a couple years ago but um, we're gonna do like these cool desert colors, which are gonna be like my burnt sienna, is which is what I'm gonna start with. So I'm gonna use this burnt sienna color. You see how I'm making a puddle? Now the key here is to get a good consistency of water and color together. So here we go. Now I'm just gonna create a rainbow just right in the center here. That one freehand it. Also, you're gonna know that you have to also know that watercolor always dries lighter, so you want your paints to be pretty opaque. Opaque means they should be um, like not too clear. It's the opposite of see-through or transparent. So that's our first color. Our next color, we want the same sort of um, sort of like this, this desert sienna color, but I'm gonna add a little bit of a lighter color to it. So like maybe a little bit more orange. And you're gonna make these earthy tones. Just cleaning off my palette here. So to my burnt sienna, I'll just make another puddle. And I'm going to add some orange. See how I'm like getting some of the color onto my brush? And then you get a lighter color. See how orange it is? So you kind of want this to be a gradient, you know, like a ombre. So each, each um, rainbow Stripe should be a color that's like the next step after the dark color. I kind of round it out at the bottom here. Just so it sort of has like a soft, smooth feeling. Now, important tip here. Your brush is very, very important in watercolor. The type of brush that you're using is going to give you a different result because this brush that I'm using right now is called a Princeton Heritage. Do you see how big the brush actually is? But do you see that pointy tip? That tip gives you really fine lines and you can also cover a lot of um, bigger areas at the same time. So you want to get a good brush and keep it separate with your acrylic brushes because acrylic paint is going to ruin your watercolor brush. So you really want to be careful of that. Okay. Next, I'm gonna add this yellow ochre color. Yellow ochre is sort of like a gold. It's sort of like a lighter, sort of like a lighter um, brown. But let's um, add some yellow ochre to this. We'll do the next. So do you see how like earthy it looks? 
Now this kind of wall art is gonna look really good inside a home like nowadays, like the interior design trend is um, lots of white and like some beautiful stones like granite or uh, marble and then some wood. And you kind of want to use that wood color, like the birch wood color, and bring that into your painting, which is what this color is. Now, I'm just gonna do one more. And the last color is going to be just a yellow, like a lemony yellow. I have like this lemon yellow here, but I mean, I'm still gonna mix a little bit of the yellow ochre to the painting, to the color, because you want all the colors to be tied in. If you just use only the color from the, the palette, it actually kind of, everything looks very distant. But if you add just a slight bit of color, it will look somewhat tied in. The color doesn't seem like it's just like, you know, separately on its own. Now this is good for wall art in your nursery room. If, if, um, if you're an adult and you have a baby, you can make this wall art on your own. Or, I mean, you can buy it um, on Etsy um, for like $5, I think. They sell prints. But wouldn't it be beautiful to do your own artwork? I think it really adds to your own, like your home, like the ambiance of your home. So there you have it, a deserty color, earth tone rainbow. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ciao.